New research shows that over the last year, more than 75% of the world's population experienced heat waves that were amplified by climate change. Now, heat wave is defined as three days in a row of 90 degree or warmer weather. The research comes from scientists at three climate research groups. NBC's Chase Kane shows us what this all means for this upcoming summer. Over the last 12 months, climate change added nearly a full month's worth of extremely hot days, 26 days, if not for humans burning coal, oil and gas. That's the big headline from this report, which did take into account things like what is hot in Dallas or Miami versus, say, what's hot in San Francisco. I think it's very, very hard to ignore the fact that we now see heat waves basically every summer in lots and lots of places. And while, of course, we are still burning fossil fuels, so global mean temperatures are still rising and rising quite fast. So we will see many heat records being broken next year again. Freddie Otto with World Weather Attribution is one of the lead scientists on this report. And zooming into the US, it's easy to see Florida stands apart with nearly two months, 54 days worth of climate amplified heat. Texas had an extra 23 days, California 17 days, even Massachusetts, New York, New Jersey, Maryland, all feeling about three extra weeks of heat, which likely wouldn't have happened without climate change. For heat waves, we can make blanket statements that every heat wave that is occurring now globally has been made hotter and more frequent because of climate change. For well, heat waves, climate change is an absolute game changer. And we see heat waves now that are so hot or that reach temperatures that would have been impossible to reach without human-induced climate change. Looking ahead, NOAA's Climate Prediction Center is already calling for one scorcher of a summer, especially in New England and in the Southwest. And keep in mind that this report emphasizes that all heat waves are lasting longer and being made even hotter because of climate change, and summer is just beginning. In Los Angeles, I'm National Climate Reporter Chase Kane.